Yo, what's good everyone? Welcome back to the channel. The new video today, I'm going to be making a Wi-Fi camera module uh, based on Arduino to hook up to my 3D printer. It is the, as you can see there, the ESP32 cam. A little kit I bought on Amazon for, I think it was about a tenner. Um, been on a couple of failed prints recently on the 3D printer and where my garage is, uh, it's about 60 to 70 metres away from my house. Uh, so when I leave long prints on overnight and they fail, I just don't know. I don't know about it, basically. Uh, so, yeah, what I'm going to do, I'm going to build one of these so I can just hook it up. I will 3D print a case for it. I haven't got a 3D print one at the moment, but I will design it. Probably do that in a later video just so I can hook it to the front of the bed. And then, yeah, just keep an eye on it without having to come out, especially when it's freezing cold. I think it's two degrees Celsius in here at the moment. It is absolutely freezing. Um, so, yeah, let's get on with it. So, first things first. So, we got your five volt. Top left of there. Oh, it doesn't matter which colour we use, but I'll use red for this because... Oh, red is usually the power. And the 5 volt on this is the third pin up. Where's the camera there? Yeah, I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if you can make that out, but it is. Can't see that myself. That one, I believe. Third pin up or fourth pin down. Uh, so then you've got the ground. Things are too fiddly, man. Ground the last one over there, and I'll use the orange one for the ground. So, no, I won't use orange for the ground, I'll use green for the ground. And I'll ground the bottom pin over here. Yeah, and then so we've got the Another two cables and that one and that one. So it's that orange and yellow. Which looking at this diagram will go to U O T and U O R. So orange will be the UOR and the yellow which I probably should have done first will be the UOT Badoosh So that's done. So when I'm building the codes, we need to put a jumper cable between uh, these two pins here for some reason. I don't know why. I honestly don't. But I'm just doing what it says. There we go. Right, so I'm going to upload the code now. Wait for that to upload. It takes a while to upload. Once it's uploaded, we're going to remove the jumper cable, reset the board. Hopefully then that should work. It should connect. Once it's connected, it should give us an IP address. I've got my iPad here, which I'm going to use to connect to the IP address. And we should be able to see a live view through this. So then, job done. It's as easy as that. I hope it's as easy as that, to be honest with you. But... Uh... We'll find out once it's uploaded. Okay, so code loaded up. Uh, let's just take this out and reset. Um, right, so what are we looking at here? So it looks like it's connecting. Camera right to use. All right then. True. Let's bring the iPad in and we're looking at uh right it's HTTP uh 
Oh, forward slash, forward slash. One, oh, one, nine, two. Let's take the old uh, sticky off the front. And how do we use this? Let's have a look. So start stream. I mean, that's pretty good. Like, there's not that much delay in there, to be fair. That's fairly decent. Um, so you got your resolution. There's a lot more delay in that. That's not too bad. I mean, yeah, to be fair, that is decent. So what I can do now, I can just hook this up now to the front of my 3D printer. As I said, I'm gonna 3D print some sort of box for it. I'll probably stick it to the front of the bed's probably the best, and then I can keep an eye out there for any prints that are failing. Um, so you can go special effects here, look at that. That's posh, isn't it? So yeah, we got some uh, good settings in there. In roll face, I don't really want to in roll face. I don't even know what that means. So there we go. So yeah, I could just I can pop that on whenever I'm running the print. I can just save this, uh, save this web into my web browser now, so I can just load it up, have a look, and yeah, I mean that's. That's running at uh, 25 frames a second. So yeah, uh, if you wanted to give this a go, I'll put a link in the description of, of you know, what I followed to do it, uh, where I purchased the item from. Like I said, this was on Amazon for like 10, 12 pounds. Uh, I'm not sure how much it was, it like $15. So that's not too much. So yeah, very easy. You don't need any coding knowledge. I, I didn't code this myself. It's a, it's a file in the Arduino IDE. Uh, which you we just you just run it basically you open them and just run it and it works job done all you got to do is put your uh, your Wi-Fi router name and password in it's as easy as that so yeah guys hope you enjoyed the video um, I'll 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 upload a vid another video next time I run a 3D print I'll upload a video with this showing it and um, just to show how good it works and if I do I, I I'll also use it on my laser cutter as well. Um, just to see if we can get some good videos inside there because it's not safe to run it with the door open Yeah, so thank you very much for everybody who, who subscribed the past couple of weeks It's well again, it's been a bit active over the new year. This is my first video of the year um, So yeah, I do hope you enjoy it if you have pop a like uh, Comment and if you're new here, yeah, subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this um, I've got another 3d printing video coming up soon um, I'll also have another laser cut video coming up soon once I hit a thousand subscribers I've got these uh, little photo frames from Ikea. I was just going to make my own laser cut slash 3D printed, 3D printed 1,000 subscriber play button because, you know, you don't get them. And I know a lot of makers do make their own when they get certain... Uh, certain Thank you very much, guys. Comment, like, subscribe, all that jazz. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Hope you're good. Ta-da.